The fourth and final progression of the kick serve is to move all the way back to the baseline, use that same abbreviated motion we were working on in the previous videos, and once you master that, then you can try and hit a quote unquote a real kick serve. So in this clip here, I've moved all the way back to the baseline. I'm holding the tennis racket at the bottom of the handle like I would for a normal serve. And I'm going to start in the L position and I'm not really going to go after the ball too much. I'm just really working the technique, making sure that my kick serve is just automatic. I can just get all these balls in. And then once I've got this locked down, then I can hit a real kick serve. I can use my entire motion. And this motion is going to share a lot of similarities with the motion we worked on in the serve progression section of the website. You'll notice that I'm not really using too much knee bend here. I'm really still trying to work the technique and not going all out. But my serve at this point is pretty much automatic. I'm not going to miss many of these. And if you're wondering if this is a good serve or not, we're going to throw in a clip of me serving to Adam. And Adam is about 6'2". And you can see when I hit my serve here, again, I'm not really going crazy with the motion. I'm just really working the technique. My serve bounces up to about his shoulder level, maybe a little bit higher. So I'm kicking the ball about six feet in the air. It's a pretty effective serve. I mean, you're going to have to play somebody that's really good to be able to do something with this serve. So the key, the key, the key, the key is to work the technique. That in itself is going to give you an effective kick serve. And then once you master the fundamentals, the basics of the shot, then you can work on taking your kick serve to the next level.